Hey guys, this is Rich with ForexNewsTrader.com coming live with some chart analysis today. Unfortunately, we did not take our trade of the day due to Bank to Binary's platform having some issues. Now, these platform issues don't happen that often. This is the first time it's actually happened to me. Um, I've been communicating with them and they do have a, a problem. So they're going to figure that out, but unfortunately I was not able to take my trade today. I wasn't able to take any of the trades. We had some great setups all day, all morning is what I need. It's 11 a.m., 11.24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you're looking at a pound-dollar MetaTrader chart that I use side-by-side -side with my binary platform. This allows me to see the overall picture, bigger trends, and this is a one-minute chart. So we're looking at a one-minute pound-dollar and the times on this look weird. Um, it's 11:24 Eastern on February 24th, and this is actually 8:30 to 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's server time and not computer time. So wherever the server is that you get your MetaTrader account from is the time you'll have. Now you can get free charts anywhere, really, especially MetaTrader charts. You can get them at any forex broker. They pretty much all you have to do is put a demo in, and you can have it. They just you know they use it for marketing and and things like that. So we we have one of the um, the demos running on our system, and I'm just going to go through a quick chart analysis of what I was seeing today and how we took advantage or how we would have taken advantage, I should, should have said. Um, you know how we like to trade in the morning between 8.30 and 10 um, when the markets are hot and you get that trade of the day and you're done. Um, so we'll just go through a quick trade of what we were watching and you know how you can take advantage if you see these same kind of patterns. Now the move on the pound has been significant to the north side. So when the move is going up we want to look for pullbacks to get in. Now there's definitely opportunities to take reversals, although the risk is a little bit higher, I would say, to take put options on a moving, hard moving uh, currency pair that's moving up. Uh, again, it's the pound dollar, so the pound's got the strength today. So what we're looking for is to take the move, to follow the moves going up. So these are going to be call options. And in this case, this would have been our trade of the day right here. We had this strong move from 58, call it 58, uh, 36, all the way up to 58, 57. So we're talking 21 pips, 20 to 25 pips, and no time at all. So after that, you definitely don't want to get a call option right here. I mean, that's you're asking for trouble after a really strong move, and you could have taken a put option here, but I wouldn't because you never know. Uh, it could teeter in like this consolidation area right here. Um, but I mean, it, if you had gotten in at 1600, it actually would have worked out pretty good. So here's an example of where a put option, after a nice extended move up, would be good. I wouldn't take it though, because I'm sticking with the trend in most of my trades, unless it's a choppy market or there's something different in the market right now this is a strong again a strong moving pound move um, so here's my move right here I would have watched this consolidation and once I saw the consolidation and a pullback right here man 1705 1704 1706 even I would have jumped all over that because we had this nice pullback up to this move you knew this staircase step was gonna go back up and you jump on this take a call option um, and within you know at your level 1715 which is right here would have closed right here so 5864 we'll, even at the highest pause we'll go we'll call 5854 would have been our entry even at our probably our latest time um, that we would have entered uh, giving us a nice 10 point 10 pip winner on this call option so this was this was definitely a solid trade probably one of the stronger trades trend wise that we've seen in a couple weeks um, you know it's been kind of choppy out there and this this move was hot this move we're gonna we're gonna jot down and look for it again in the future 
Um, right now it's 11, almost 11:30 a.m. So we're not even if the platform is working, we're not going to trade anymore. Um, we'll just take our day. We've had a good week. We've actually had a good couple weeks. We took a trade last night around 4:50 a.m. or sorry, 4:50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when the New York uh, after the New York markets closed at four, the stock markets, the euro took off for like an hour almost. It was it was just extending itself and kept extending itself. So once I saw a quick quick hit of about 20 pips in no time, and it was kind of late towards 5 p.m. Eastern, and that's when the markets are all shifting and money's exchanging hands and you know interest is rolling over and swap and all this other stuff. I jumped on a, I actually jumped on a um, put option, and it worked out really well. It was a 10 pip point uh, put option, so I had no, I had no pain in that one. Again, that was against the trend, because but the euro was so extended late in the day, and that that's a that's a nice thing to look for too. A real late in the day extended uh, currency pair that's way out of whack, way out of distance of where it's been all day. Now that's going to happen too. I mean, that, that's what you know how these uh, currency pairs move, I mean, they're eventually going to break out of their consolidation. But this thing was like 50 pips in no time, and it just didn't have any, um, didn't have enough people to be trading it at that hour for it to stick all the way up there. So that's why we took that put option last night. Um, so this was one of those days where I just wanted to share a little chart analysis, kind of explain what I look at when I make these trades of the day. Um, I'm looking at a pound, dollar, minute chart, or Euro USD, or any other chart. Um, I have it much bigger than this, but this is more for the video uh, to sh kind of share with you uh, more in depth as 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 at a particular trade during the day, um, especially the trade of the day that would have been. And I'm a little upset that it didn't take place. But what are you going to do? You know, you can't get frustrated. You can't think about it. This is like that other video I did a couple um, a couple days ago about patience. You miss a trade that you should have taken that really worked out. That's yeah, going to happen, you know. So this is one of those things that I couldn't do anything about. Unfortunately, uh, the broker had some issues, but I'm not going to get upset about it. So we'll just move on. And I'm kind of glad that I was able to do this video because it kind of shows you new things to look at. You want to get that MetaTrader account. You can, like I said, you can get any broker. You can go to forexnewstrader.com. We have plenty of forex brokers on our site too that you can link up with um, to get these demos, and you can obviously get all the binary option information. Um, you know about bank to binary, 24 option, any option, and like 10 other brokers. So you have plenty of options over there. No pun intended there. And you know you just you just stick with it. Figure out what you want to do. Uh, start trading. Um, use you can even use minute charts to kind of see create your own strategies. It might take a little bit of time to go through all the data, but you can try to figure out some patterns of you know look between that 8 a.m. Eastern and that 10 a.m. 10:30 maybe a.m. Eastern, and that's where the strong moves are really happening. To take advantage, and if in your in, if you're in Europe, um, you know England or France, uh, you might want to look at that. Uh, which would be 4:30 a.m. around um, Eastern is is almost like your 8:30 a.m. for us. So 8:30, 9:30, whatever time that is around where you are, because that's when the markets are hot. People are waking up, traders are making action, and you can you know take take on those uh, trades at that time with more confidence because you'll have stronger moves. Again, binary options is all about fluidity. You want some strong moves in either direction and taking pullbacks, reversals, whatever it is, but you don't want a choppy, sweet, little consolidated market because you'll get chopped right in, get chopped right out. So I just wanted to share this with you. It's a pretty, I'm actually pretty excited I was able to do it again. And again, this is Rich with ForexNewsTrader.com. Leave some comments, questions, subscribe, you name it. Um, you can always get more information about binaries and anything else in this industry at forexnewstrader.com. Have a good one, have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you on Monday with our trade of the day.